Oh my. Wir haben zwei Zähne und ich so erwettet mit dem Sancho. Ja. Und da. Men øh, vi starter op med en Mr. Dodge Vandalen mission den her omgang I've been without it a whole lot longer than I was with it. <laughs> nah, it's a people. Yeah, a bunch of nasty, miserable peasants I gotta share this place with. Why don't you leave? Leave? Well, live here. <laughs> They're my nasty, miserable people. Now, I've been hating on them for so long, if I forgot to hate them, I wouldn't know what day it was. Yeah, but you... Man, you ought to get out of here, and you ought to stop coming back. Hey, mister. Look at that horse. <laughs> right there. Thank you. Morning, mister. Hi there, folks. Sir, good morning. Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. 
We did? Well, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that? But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good, honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though. And it is cost in this county its good name. And the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Archibald, how are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure yeah. I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command what? here. There is? Yeah. Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey! Friends. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. Bear right again here. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. The drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. Selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to him. Don't even look him in the eye. I'm sure I wouldn't. What was I saying? Something about the Braithwaite's, I think. Even saying that word... ...makes me sick. Now, anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? Round them up, then take this off. Operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. How handle this? Well, the way I see Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy, degenerate tax dodgers. The cheating and a fine idea. 
Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out and then tie them up. Got it, Deputy Williamson. See one by the bridge over there? There's another one by the still. Gentlemen, I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure, anyone but him. Oh, so, I think you're real funny, don't you? <laughs> that is the last time I'll mention it, I swear.
anymore. Do you? No. Let's find Dutch and get out of here. Fine by me. Come on, Arthur. I'd rather not be here when our friends notice the shine's gone. <laughs> well, forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it. For personal consumption, it's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. But my cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We have a life on the land. So stupid. A backwater. So backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on. You ride with me. Okay. Should I stash this somewhere near camp? Sure, he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always. From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the Young Dutch again. What do you mean, Young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay. On my word. Set. Go! I don't know who's more past you or your horse. Oh, I'm going to enjoy wiping that smirk off your face.
feels good. They're running away. Well, I never knew age had slowed you down quite so much. <laughs> well, time is a bastard. When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. Be well. I had fun with you today. <laughs> I was gonna say you you're like a son to me. But you're more than that. Thank you. Horse Dutch. Drisco, I reckon you must be in the wrong camp. Before you go around talking like that, you would ought to be. Oh, I forgot. You sold them out to save your own skin. Just leave me be, will You're you? You're our boot boy now. Get away from me! Hey! You know something? When they was talking about hanging me, I just kept thinking of you. Oh, did you miss me? That's nice. No, precisely the opposite. I was thinking even if I die, at least I won't have to see that board no more. So you told Jose about the moonshine? Yes, he's got some plan cooking. Good. I shall. Nothing like a fella who takes pride in his appearance. Ain't nothing to worry about. He's still here. here. No, no, you get away from me. So, you're still alive? Of course. Hey, Arthur. Can, can I have a quick word? Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I, I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. A great gift of information. So you got some tip up so now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, <laughs> you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you? Talking about. Arthur's above a little stick up I heard about. Well, I'm not. You just said. Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. <laughs> well, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes. You are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are <laughs> a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. This way. Bunch of smart Alex. How do you get wind of this old man? We only been down here all of five minutes. While wow, you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for one, will you? 
I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is you scoped here exactly? Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. They'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sake. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> You know, boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So, you know... <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Shit! Hey! They can say something! Oh, great. Let's go, Arthur! Let's go! Yeah! Fucking kidding me, Spill. Yeah, perfectly. Very well, this game, man. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we, uh, get some rest. Ugh. Yeah. Oh, fuck. 
and buy lamb bagel. All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Hey. Shit. Absolutely. Oh, shut up, old man. Well, look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. Hey, now let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I, I, why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? I, I, tell me what you heard. I don't... Maybe I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. Ain't me. It's better not be. All right. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the, the barn. Uh, sir. <clears throat> Place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside, I'll go around the back. Place looks empty to me. Now, the old guy up there is full of crap. I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Fuck! Place is empty! Shit! Looks like we're shooting our way out of here, fellas!
They're coming this way. Perfect. We need to do this quietly. You take the left and I'll take the right. Okay? You're right or my right? Here you go. Miss Cornwall ain't gonna be happy about this. Bastard! Get the hell off me! Arthur! Made a meal out of that, didn't you? Oh, just stand there, why don't you? Making an old man suffer. Uh oh, clearly those boys ain't as quiet as us. Guess we should go give them a hat. What? Now we got corn on our back. It was an honest mistake. Hey, leave it. Come on, get out of here. Every man split up. Come on, run quick. Good luck, Johnson. Stay quiet and move. Well. Det var sejt for denne gang. Tak fordi I så med. Husk at like og subscribe, og så ses vi næste gang. Bye bye.